Hey guys, Paul here. Powering your Arduino or microprocessor development board away from your computer can be really convenient for remote applications. And there are different ways to power it. You've got your onboard jack here, as well as 5 volt and 3.3 volt um, inputs and ground as well as far as pins go. Now as far as the jack's concerned, you know, a really easy way to power this would be with a 9 volt battery, but this only has 175 milliamps of current. That's not a lot of current, and powering something like this LCD display, it's going to be a very high drain situation. This 9 volt battery will not last very long. And the onboard jack does require 7 volts, which gets regulated down to 5, and the most cost effective um, price performance solution is to go with a 1.2 or, or 1 and a half volt battery, like rechargeables for example. These energizers have 2300 milliamps of current. Again, 2300 milliamps of current versus 175 milliamps on a 9 volt battery. But you can do even better. On eBay you can get these generic 1.2 volt rechargeable batteries, 3000 milliamps of current and six of these in series equals 7.2 volts enough to power the Arduino. Now let's see what these actually register on a full charge. 1.42 volts. So that would be 8.4 volts into the input jack here which is ample uh, power. With these 3000 milliamp batteries in series here I'll be able to operate my weather monitor. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Post your comments below, and we'll see you real soon.